and Polly, and we did flow on fighting the force for absolute beginners and early flow wanderers. We started with posture because posture is the most one of the most important things in flow on. So it's a Tai Chi posture. Find your feet, get hip distance apart, sink down into your knees, roll your pelvis forward, lift your sternum. Remember to engage your stomach muscles when you're rolling your pelvis over. Start up to let your shoulder blades go down your back. And something we discuss later that's a good thing to go and talk about now is the difference in the reaches. When you're reaching, we don't reach up. We roll our shoulder down to curve our arm up. So reaching this way instead of this way. So drill that reach. So when we're reaching with our wand, we aren't damaging our shoulders. This way. So once we've got our posture, that palm facing exercise we did to begin in order to learn how to avoid colliding with the wand with our elbow, start out, always keeping our hand facing the wand, explore how we need to rotate in order to avoid. So if you're doing this with a friend, have your friend help you keep your hand at a fixed point in space as you rotate your palm around to continue facing your wand. And notice how, what this does with your elbow. And this is teaching your arm what to do in order to avoid the wand. So once you feel comfortable there, you can go into your basic moves, starting with small circles in front. So here we have inward circle. And notice you can keep your hand very fixed in space. It requires very little effort. You can go the other direction. Remember, if you go only one direction, it'll wind up your string. So there are forward circles. And then we have stalls, side to side. And remember, you're keeping your palm up. These are the stalls outside of our elbow. Remember, later we did stalls inside of our elbow. In order to do that, we're keeping our, whoops, our palm facing our belly with our middle finger pointing down. Wait. There we go. So here are the inside stalls, and again the outside stalls. And after the circles and the stalls, we did turns. So, remember when you're doing your turns to let your hand fully extend and let the wand be straight in front of your sternum. So it's a very controlled turn. And the next thing we did was the stall behind the back. So we bring the hand up and around and stall. And up and around. Stall. Remember, you're stalling to the side, and up and around your shoulders and forward. Might be worth mentioning the uh, before that. Remember the corkscrew-like move for poise spinners. You can bring the wand up around your shoulders and down. And notice how important your posture is here. If you keep your shoulder blades down, you won't hit your shoulders. So watch yourself lift up. Every time you're practicing a move and you find yourself falling forward, lift up. As if someone's pulling you up on a string. You're a pretty puppet. And I think that's all we covered in the